Uh, I, I love that all the non-actors, none of you had scripts. And I, I'm like, um, <laughs> shameful. Good morning, I'm Juliana Margulies and I am a proud board member of the MCC <laughs> community. My relationship started with MCC in 2002. Bob mentioned a play that I did called Intrigue with Faye with Benjamin Bratt, which we did at the Acorn yep. Theater. And I just um, want to give you a little glimpse of what it's like to be an actor with these incredible people behind me. So every rehearsal, I would see in the audience, Bob, Will, Bernie, peeking in and out in and out, in and out, and I thought, oh, well, they're just, you know, it's their theater company and they're, they want to be part of the process. And then we started getting into uh, tech rehearsals and I figured, you know, no one likes to sit through a tech rehearsal, they're tedious and exhausting. And, and there's Bob, Will, Bernie, just popping in and out, in and out, in and out, all the time, C constantly supportive, constantly there, constantly helping with anything. And I, thought, I, I was getting paid, I think, $240 a week. Good times. And, <laughs> and I, I know it's a nonprofit theater and, and we're all, you know, we're, we're trying to just um, support writers and artists and um, everyone that, ha that comes with the creative process of a theater uh, production. And I was amazed that every night, and we extended, I think, three times three times, which was brutal because I ended up in a puddle on the floor every night sobbing. So eight times a week, I was sort of numb. And when they tried to extend for the fourth time, I was like, guys, I'm out. I, I can't walk. And, um, but every single night of that performance, that production, all of you were there. It was incredible. I would look out, and there would be <laughs> sweet Bob with tears in his eyes. <laughs> Um, which always helped on the nights I thought, I'm dry, nothing's going to happen. And then I'd see Bob crying for me so I could just do it. Um, they were a part of that production in more ways than I had ever experienced in any theater production I had done, or quite frankly, any TV or film I had ever done. They were there 100% of the time. So when the production finally ended um, and my swollen eyes went back to normal, they called me and said, would you have breakfast with us? And I thought, oh God, they want to extend it again. I can't. <laughs> so anyway, I went and had breakfast. I think it was Locks Around the Clock, which no longer exists, right? It was Locks Around the Clock. And I sat with um, Bob and Bernie. Well, I, I, I think it was too early. I don't know where you were, but you weren't there. <laughs> but you were there in spirit. And I thought something major, I had no idea what this meeting was about, maybe it was another production, and they said, we feel like you embody what we stand for and we would love for you to be a board member. And first of all, as an actor, I had no idea what that entailed, um, except that it meant to be a part of a group that I found to be so special and remarkable. And I was so flattered and honored, and I just want to apologize in public to the rest of the board members, because I'm never at any of the meetings, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I try to help in every other way that I can. Uh, they're like six hours long. I went to one once, and I thought, oh my god. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Um, but apparently they're short now, Bernie says. <laughs> Perhaps Peter and I will show up at more. <laughs> no, honestly, it's because I was always working. I always go if I'm available. Um, but anyway, the point is, I didn't hesitate. I said yes immediately. I want to be around people who want to support this kind of art and this kind of work and these kind of youth programs and playwrights and directors and actors. And I'm so grateful to all of you that you have all supported us in our endeavors. And it has been such a remarkable journey just as, an, as a, a plain old actor, no one who, who can, you know, if, if nothing had happened in my career, I would wanna be here and be part of this as anything, an administrator of anything, because there is this energy that happens when you're at the MCC community that I've never seen anywhere else. 
And it's a privilege to be a board member and a part of this family and a part of these wonderful people that are so emotional and you have every right to cry. You should just cry it out today because after 32 years of being itinerant, we're finally home.